If you've heard of PDT Bar, or even better, been there in New York City, then you're gonna love three of the cocktails I'm gonna to make today. Three of my favorite cocktails from PDT. Hey guys, so I've been really lucky to travel around the world and, and visit a lot of amazing cocktail bars. And one of my favorites is PDT, or Please Don't Tell, in New York City. It's a speakeasy, you gotta walk into Chris's a hot dog store, uh, jump into a phone box, uh, dial away and it lets you into this secret bar. It is amazing. I was lucky enough to be there with Gaz Regan uh, back in 2014. Um, yeah, Gaz, what can I say? Um, and I thought, why not make some cocktails from Jim Meehan uh, and the guys from PDT? And the first one that I'm going to do uh, is called Forget About It. Okay, so it was created by Lindsay Nayer and Jim Meehan there. Uh, they made the cocktail. Obviously, it's got fig in it and they were sort of debating over the name when one of the other bartenders yelled out forget about it and that's how it was named so what does it have in it it starts with 60 mils of bourbon i'm going to use old forester this is our house pour at the 18th amendment bar next up 10 mils of some amaretto i'm going to use the disarono then 20 mils of fresh lemon juice and a bar spoon of some fig jam. This is the Saint Delfour fig jam. And then just a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Give it a shake. how this goes. I'm going to double strain into a chilled Nick and Nora glass. The garnish for this is just an orange zest or a maraschino cherry. I want to use the orange. Forget about it. All right, let's give it a try. Horrible accent, by the way. Oh, yum. <laughs> I'm really right into uh, anything that's got fig in it. Really, really nice. The amar amaretto is giving that, that nice sort of nuttiness to the bourbon, the lemon juice, the fig. Just ties it off perfectly with the bitters. Uh, yeah, get out there and, uh, and try to forget about it. Gee, that was really shit too. PDT cocktail number two is the Mezcal Mule. This was made by Jim Mean in 2009, and it calls for, uh, it has a little bit of Mezcal in it, obviously, but the first thing that we need to do is muddle up some cucumber. So just a couple slices of cucumber, and I'm gonna add about 15 mils of agave nectar. I'm using the Crawley's agave syrup made by the legendary Jason Crawley. We're gonna give that a little bit of a muddle. Would have thought cucumber and agave, right? Awesome. Okay, next up we need 45 mils of mezcal. I'm using the Del Nague Vida. Next up, 30 mils of a house-made ginger beer. Or you can use fever tree or something else. Oh, reading the specs, 20 mils of lime juice. And 20 mils of a passion fruit puree. And I think that's it, right? Okay. Some ice, we're gonna give that a shake. And we are going to fine strain that or double strain that into just a rocks glass. Perfect, my garnish for that. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this little P 
piece of ice. I'm drinking it myself so I can use my fingers. Just a slice of cucumber and just a ginger lolly. And there you go, the mezcal mule. I'm gonna give it a try. It looks so good too. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, so many different flavors there. The passion fruit, the ginger, the, uh, the muddled cucumber, the mezcal, that nice smokiness, the citrus. We're actually working on a new cocktail menu tonight for 18th Amendment. I'm gonna show the guys this because it is freaking delicious and it's the first time I've tried it. It looked good on the specs when I, I read it and I thought I'm gonna give this one a try and I'm so glad that I have. It's probably the best cocktail that I've tried today and I filmed a few videos. Awesome. My lucky last PDT cocktail was made by Jeff Bell. Now, I'm thinking 2013, 2014, that night that I was lucky enough to go into PDT with Gaz Regan, uh, we got to try this cocktail. Gaz loved it and put it into his 101 best cocktails the following uh, year. And it is called ABCDEF. Why is it called that, Jeff? Well, I'm gonna explain for him. Uh, that all has to do with the type of alcohol, all right? And the first thing that we're going to do is start with 15 mils of Aperol for the A. Then 45 mils of Beef Eater Gin. I don't have the Beef Eater Gin here, but I do have the Beef Eater 24, which is even better. As you can see, this is a stirred down cocktail. 45 mils. Next up is Campari, ABC, number C, 10 mils. Then D, Dolan Dry, and it's 22 and a half mils. E calls for uh, Encanto Pisco. Unfortunately, we can't get that in Australia at the moment. So I'm gonna use Bar Sol, and that's 15 mils, or half an ounce. And last but not least, what is the F, I wonder? Of course, it's going to be Fernet Branca, just a bar spoon. Can you add too much of Fernet? I don't think so. All right, so I need to chill down my Nick and Nora glass. A lot of times here at 18th Amendment Bar, we will chill down our martini glasses and so forth with some liquid nitrogen. If you do have some in your bar, use it. Super cool. Get that? Haha, <laughs> super cool. Dad jokes. Give it a stir down. Once again, my daughter behind the camera is cringing. Had a few cocktails, so the dad jokes are definitely going to come out. I did not think this would work. Uh, when Jeff said, we're going to make this drink, I'm like, but trust me, it is a cracker. Okay, get rid of the liquid nitrogen. I can't do that when the customers are here. Perfect. I can't remember what he used uh, as a garnish, but I think an orange twist would be really nice. Just go well with the Aperol and the Campari, but I think I'm going to just let those essential oils go over the top and discard it. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, Jeff Bell, cheers to you, and especially cheers to Gaz Regan. Uh, let's try it again. brilliant like I don't even know how he come up with that I'll be honest with you um, so many different dimensions of flavor so perfectly balanced I could easily put this on a menu as well um, yeah hats off to you Jeff like honestly that is a beautiful drink I haven't had one since that night uh, it is bringing back memories uh, it, it's a night that I'll probably never ever forget in my life rest in peace Gaz Regan uh, Thank you so much for sharing that beautiful moment. And uh, guys, please like, subscribe, 
We'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.